डियर स्टूडेंट्स एंड दिस थर्ड फेज थर्ड फेज ऑफ माई स्पीच आई वुड लाइक टू टेल यू ऑल अबाउट द सिलेबस द कोर्सेस ऑफ स्टडीज दैट आर मेड फॉर हायर सेकेंडरी स्कूल्स एंड आई होप दैट यू मस्ट हैव यू मस्ट हैव कम आउट ऑफ द सेकेंडरी एग्जाम्स and uh, you must come out successfully and uh, now you will enter into the higher secondary studies so let me tell you or let me tell you all about the books the prescribed books prescribed you know that is uh, bureau publications books state book bureau that uh, odisha state bureau of production and you know that there are four books and those are all prescribed books and prescribed books and also those shall be tested by the council also and you know you have the first book that is the invitation to english and it carries 100 marks and you know that book invitation to english one and invitation to english uh, two and invitation to english three and uh, the last that is invitation to english uh, four so you know that uh, the first book that is invitation to english so what does it contain you can find that uh, that book contains that uh, prose and uh, poetry so The, the, those are not a difficult prose pieces or that uh, those are not difficult poems so you can read this prose and poetry why will you read this prose as well as the poetry because it enhances your power of uh, grasping something or the power of uh, comprehension what is comprehension that means uh, you have to understand what are the facts that what are the facts in those expressions and you know there are prose pieces and in those prose pieces you will find comprehensive questions and each question carries two marks as a whole you have to appear or you have to answer five questions and those five questions in grand total it is carries those questions they carry that uh, 10 marks and uh, that is a comprehensive questions so what do you know in comprehensive questions that when a question is given the answers are simultaneously given in the above paragraphs or in the above mentioned paragraphs so can you simply copy out those answers no you have to replace certain words you have to re replace certain textual words with the words or similar words that you know so you that is that is the your power of learning and the power of comprehension so you have to replace those words and then only you can make the answer more viable and more up, that is appreciable so therefore you have to develop your power of a vocabulary so in while reading the prose and the poems you you do not know but there is a constant development of the domain of your vocabulary the area of your vocabulary so that is one thing and thereby while knowing the vocabulary also you can also develop the power of a, that is a dictionary recognizing the dictionary skills and uh, you can, you have many questions from these prose and poetry and uh, while reading this you can know the prose pieces and also the poem pieces and from this prose and poetry you can be acquainted with with so many problems problems and uh, the recognition of the problems and the sorting out of the solutions to the problems so thereby you can know the comprehension questions 
you can know the dictionary questions you can know the matching of a certain words with the other words on the other side so you can know and besides that you can you have to read also invitation to english 2 so what does it contain so invitation to english 2 it 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 contains the stories as well as the biographies so you can you cannot just uh, you cannot just uh, make your heads button do it with the prose and the poetry so those are light studies you can know the stories and can and can enjoy yourself the themes or the ideas of the stories and as well as uh, that uh, by knowing the stories you can also know that uh, those are biographies that what are those biographies biographies it means the life incidents or the development of a life or the complete uh, exposure of the lives of a person and uh, you can imitate and you can feel yourself that is uh, you can feel yourself honored and you can also imitate those ideas or those life situations of the great people great men and great women those who established themselves not only as ordinary people as ordinary people they they went up to that ordinary level and they became the they became the uh, superhuman beings in society so you have to know also that we are not uh, we need not uh, uh, we need not be uh, narrow minded we are we need not be that is uh, self satisfied we have to collect the ideas the life science the life incidents and the inspiration the encouragement from by studying the different uh, life or lives or different incidents of a person suppose you can take the case of a Mahatma Gandhi or you can take the uh, Madam Curie or you can take the even Rama Devi those who fought those who fought in their lifetime to get the things or to get the things understood so therefore you have to read that book and uh, you will also find questions that uh, from storage you have to appear two questions and each question carries a five marks so as a whole you have to appear for ten marks and the technique is same as in the case of the as in the case of the previous book that is book one so you have to what you have to do you just first you spot out you locate where the answer is in that question page and when you read that then you locate the answer and you read the answers once or twice then you substitute you find the substitutes of the vocabularies and you can also write in your own language not just copying out those paragraphs or those ideas already ingrained or already contained in the paragraphs so you have to replace those words by the suitable alternative words that you have known so therefore the technique is the same as the technique applied or adopted in plus in invitation to english one so now next come let us come to the book three so you have to read also book three so what does it contain so what does it stand for so that book three it is stands for that uh, knowing the writing skills you know in the first you read the prose poetry you also read the uh, biographies autobiographies then you have to also life is uh, life is not only with reading but also writing so you have to know the writing skills suppose while writing wherever you go you can find suppose you are in a class you cannot write just in details of the speech that a teacher gives you have to compact it you have to concise it so how can you concise the answer you can concise the answer by writing in note formats so you have to know how 
notes are different from the summary writings or pressy writings and simultaneously there are the basic things are same but you can know that summaries are not notes and notes are not the summaries so summaries are important points where you can write but notes are something that you can give suitable headings and you can give the suitable points to the headings so thereby you can write headings and the subheadings and headings and the subheadings so one so why this method is adopted this method is adopted because you can easily see that what a teacher speaks or what a teacher tells in a class or what a speaker speaks in a general public meetings so you cannot write in details so you have to write down in a points so you have to know that uh, summaries are different from a uh, notes writings so similarly you can also know the report writing then newspaper newspaper uh, news reportings and uh, so many so many uh, things in book 3 so book 3 is also very important because that uh, that uh, brings development to your uh, writing skills or your writing techniques so that book is important for all of you and you need not take it in a in a, a light manner because most of us we avoid writing we avoid writing we are very much pleased to it only reading out so therefore reading out cannot make you complete so you have to also write down because writing makes a man perfect as bacon has said so you have to write down otherwise you cannot achieve perfection in your writings so the last book is important that is a that is a thread that uh, connects that all the three things that uh, what are what is this that is a grammar part of the book that contains in the first year you have to read five to six topics in the second year also you have to read those topics and uh, particularly the they it begins with the common thing in english that is a article you know that article i article depends upon the sounds also which i taught you in my first class that are sounds and the letters so similarly articles a and d and you can there are only that uh, two sounds that is a or an and it constitute one unit and the is another unit so therefore from that you can also enter into the uh, tense parts of the english the tense parts of the english and you will be very uh, you will be interested to know that uh, we all know that there are the three tenses but uh, actually there are only two tenses one is the present and the other is the past and the future is unpredictable so therefore it is not taken as a tense and even if we use will or shall but it can also in critical writings or in uh, uh, critical writings we adopt the present tense at the future tense suppose i say that i am going to do this not i will do this or it is uh, i am going to uh, that or the examination begins so therefore you have to read the tenses you have also read the articles and you have to read also the ing forms the infinitive forms and the prepositions so those are what are they they will only they will only make you uh, make you strong in teaching the different words or structures into language forms so therefore all these four books they will help you in knowing a language forget the language english or forget the odia but uh, you can de develop your own uh, strength you can develop your own comprehensibility or you can know your understanding and also expressions by reading out all these four books and no book is to be neglected by you each book is important for you and you should give every importance to all these four books and that's all all about you and in this class so we will be meeting in the next class